Last minute scratch from last week's Chargers game against the Chiefs. NFL Network Insider Ann Rappaport reports a team doctor accidentally punctured Taylor's lung while administering a pain injection shot. Taylor will be out this week, meaning that rookie Justin Herbert will get his second straight start. Elsewhere, Julio Jones did not practice Wednesday after re-injuring his hamstring in week two. The Falcons say that Jones' playing status for Sunday won't be known until later this week. Also missing practice due to injury Wednesday, Saints All-Pro Michael Thomas, Packers Pro Bowler Devontae Adams, and Niners QB Jimmy Garoppolo. And the NFL lost a legend Wednesday. Hall of Famer Gail Sayers passed away. The Bears great played in just 68 games during an injury played career, but he was so dominant, he still made it to Canton on his first ballot. Gail Sayers was 77 years old. This has been the NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Hey, it's me, your cousin, from Boston. I'm on the radio doing ads for Sam Adams. Now I'll be known as the Sam Adams guy instead of the dude who fell in the quarry. <clears throat> Sam Adams Boston Lager is crisp and refreshing, which is why I bring a six-pack wherever I go, except the movies anymore. Sam Adams from Boston with love. Here's a legal pod. Watch how fast I can read. The Boston Beer Company, Boston Mass. Drink responsibly. Now, is that 30 seconds? Are we even close? Back to work at that J-O-P, the one you realized isn't for you? Well, that's if you're lucky, right? Make your move. You can start a new life as an IT pro in as little as four months from the comfort of your own home, even if you have zero computer experience. Take control of your future now. Go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career evaluation today. Live online classes meet just twice a week. It's not rocket science. It's my computer. Career.edu. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXO, El Centro, California. Ah, let's see what's going on. All sorts of things. The uh, Tom Cruise space movie will start production next year. Yes, he will blast into orbit in October 2021. Uh, little Tommy says he'll reach for the stars. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, little guys like Tom and I, we're used to reaching for things. Uh, let's keep a step stool handy. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way you're going to reach anything in the cabinets. How oh, well. And let's see. What else is going on? Lots of things. Yes, today is World Punctuation Day. Whoopee! Let's celebrate punctuation. It was invented by a guy who had a stack of colons and apostrophes and didn't know what to do with them. Yeah, I'm not real good at punctuation. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why I work in radio. And by the way, the pre preceding sentence did not contain any semicolons. Yeah, yeah, you go into radio when you can't spell and you can't punctuate. Yeah, it makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, let's see. Oh, a new study out. Okay, pay attention here. This study shows one of the riskiest professions during the COVID-19 pandemic is dentist. Dr. Kwan, be careful. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, that's all I need, a nervous dentist. His handshaking, working with power tools inside my mouth. Yeah, okay. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, to all the dentists and dental assistants and techs. Yeah, be careful. We've got birthdays to celebrate today. We do. Our big shot birthdays. Singer Sonny Turner of the Platters is 81. Singer Barbara Albert of the Angels is 80. Singer Phyllis Albert of the Angels is 78. They be, they be sisters, okay? Yeah, with the same birthday. Uh, singer Jerry Marsden of Jerry and the Pacemakers, 78. Yeah, Jerry now has a pacemaker. And uh, people have said that Jerry Marsden may have had the best voice of uh, any of the rock and roll bands coming out of the 60s. Actor Harriet Walter is 70. Kevin Sorbo, Hercules, he is 62. Actor, writer, Nia Vardalos is 58. 
Actor Ian Bowen is 44. Actor Spencer Treat Clark, 33. Actor Gray Damon, 33. Actor Kyle Sullivan, 32. Actor Ben Plott is 27. There you go. You got the local birthdays. No, yeah, the local birthday is coming up. The coronavirus is affecting everyone. Must life. wear face coverings when out. Well, what do I do? What are you going to do? When this is all over. When this is all over. When this is all over. What are you going to do? Going to a concert, to school, having dinner with friends. Take better care of each other. Support local shops and stores. Offering more help to others. This should be over soon. KXO birthday wishes going out today to Monica Dominguez, Carl Hinos, Walt Moore, Karen Pearson, Alan Alfred McCone, Kaiwina Cannon, Mercedes Gonzalez, Lisa Higginbotham, Nancy Patricia, Jose Sanchez, Linda Butler, Tony Molina, Jacob Gloria, Robert Cruz, Megan Sines, Veronica Marquez, Selena Mata Valle, Katie Navarro, Cassie Hill, Adan Ramirez, Happy birthday. Okay, and happy anniversary, Calvin and Jean Armstrong. Yeah. Okay, let's see. According to a recent survey, two out of ten people have already started their Christmas shopping. <sighs> ah, Christmas. Yeah. It's going to be different this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and one of the big questions... Yeah, will Santa have to shave off his beard so he can wear a face mask? Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Oh, well. Let's see. I wonder, does Santa really have a chin? Yeah, we never know. Speaking of things like that, some weird French guy had his nose surgically removed and his tongue split to make himself look like an alien. Yeah. Okay. I understand next he plans to have his lips move to the back of his head, his ears move to his elbows, and his chin move to a place I'm not allowed to talk about. You know, and, okay, he find a plastic surgeon that was willing to do all that. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you staring at? Yeah, haven't you ever seen anybody without a nose and a split? Oh. oh, well, today is Cherry's Jubilee Day. I can remember trying to make Cherry's Jubilee once. Yeah, I ran out of brandy before I could pour it on the cherries. It was pretty good brandy, yeah. It's also World Maritime Day. Okay, let's hear it for uh, the Salton Sea and uh, the Commodore of the uh, Salton Sea Navy, whoever that may be these days. I've kind of lost track. Uh, we've got news coming your way. A look at World in California news headlines coming up. All brought to you by your friends and neighbors at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News special report. President Trump did not get a warm welcome at the Supreme Court. He went there to pay his respects to Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. As the President and Mrs. Trump emerged from the Supreme Court building onto the steps, the crowd gathered there, reacted. As the first couple silently paid their respects, both wearing masks, the crowd began to shout, vote him out. More booze followed as the president's senior aides approached the casket. The president is facing fierce backlash for this comment he made yesterday. Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful transfer of power after the election? Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. CBS News special report. I'm Wendy Gillette. Whatever the weather brings this summer, you can rely on a York Affinity premium system to keep your home cool and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology and helping to significantly reduce your energy bill. Plus, you can stay connected via our Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen thermostat. Yeah, every York unit is designed, engineered, and assembled in the United States and backed by industry-leading warranties and affordable financing options are available. Call Lock 
Block Air Conditioning, your local York dealer. 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system. Contractor's license 696-216. My news. Demonstrators taken to the streets in several California cities expressing outrage that no police officers will be criminally charged in the shooting death in Kentucky of Breonna Taylor in March. That's a big disappointment to everybody who is looking for justice in this case that seems so ridiculous. It seems so obvious that someone should be held accountable and nobody is. A demonstrator in San Francisco, Taylor shot by police during a drug raid gone wrong. One officer facing wanton endangerment charges for firing into Taylor's neighbor's apartment. Evander Gavin Newsom signing an executive order phasing out sales of new gas-powered cars in 15 years. By 2035, in the next 15 years, we will eliminate in the state of California the sales of internal combustion engines. We will move forward to green and decarbonize our vehicle fleet here in the state of California. Bobcat fire now nearly 114,000 acres, 39% contained in the San Gabriel Mountains. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Like Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. You're a smart, hard-working roofing contractor. Save time with the Beacon Pro Plus app. The Beacon Pro Plus app works round the clock for material ordering, checking order history, and automated rebate tracking, saving valuable time, especially when working remotely. Beacon proudly offers GAF Timberline HDZ shingles with a 600% larger strike zone nailing area for faster, more accurate installations. You work hard. Now work smarter. Sign up for free at beaconproplus.com today. You run a business and you need better wireless. Three words, no more compromise. With the T-Mobile Business Advantage, you get the largest 5G network, award-winning customer support, and insanely great value. No trade-offs. Right now, get up to 90 days of unlimited free on business plans when you switch via bill credits. Stop in to find out more. Plus taxes and fees for some plans. Complete port within 60 days. Customers over 50 gigabytes per month have lower speeds during congestion. Video at 480p, unlimited on our network. See T-Mobile.com for 5G devices coverage and plan details. It's page one of the local news, page one of service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. But George Gale has the latest update on the COVID-19 pandemic in the Valley. It was released by the County Public Health Department. According to the update, the new COVID-19 positive cases per day per 100,000 is at 9.76. Positivity rate is at 6.13%. According to the raw numbers, there have been 317 deaths as a result of COVID-19 in Imperial County. 67,662 have tested for the virus. 11,658 have tested positive. 11,031 have recovered. The update indicates there are now 310 active cases of COVID-19 in the Imperial County. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And along the same lines, uh, the Imperial County Public Health Officer has issued an amended health officer order in line with what uh, the state had uh, to say. It went into effect on Wednesday. Imperial County Health Officer issued amended order to reflect recent changes made to the state of California's expanded personal care services guidance. Under the new state guidance, nail salons and electrologists providing phys uh, physician-ordered electrolysis may now operate indoors with modifications, safety plans, social distancing, and other prevention measures as specified in California's industry guidance. Updated guidance also emphasizes that body waxing studios, massage therapy studios, and skin care and cosmetology services must continue to operate outdoors and must adhere to state guidelines. Services for tattooing, piercing, and non-medical electrolysis must remain closed at this time. The amended health officer order can be found in the Imperial County Public Health Department's website. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. 
KXO News Time is 743. El Centro Motors Supergroup is hiring. Join the best, the fastest growing new car dealership group in Southern California. El Centro Motors Super Center is hiring service riders, skilled service technicians, and loop techs. Multiple positions available at El Centro Motors, Imperial Valley Volkswagen, and Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro and Brawley. Apply online, ElCentroMotors.com. El Centro Motors is an equal opportunity employer. Well, a traffic advisory remains in effect, according to uh, the city of Imperial. Aiton Road, closed to eastbound traffic between Highway 86 and Marshall Road. The closure includes eastbound turn lanes from Highway 86 onto Aiton Road. The closure uh, needed to accommodate infrastructure repairs in the area. The uh, repairs expected to take another two to three weeks uh, look for an alternate route. And uh, while we're speaking of uh, road closures, Forrester Road between Keystone and Worthington Road remains closed uh, through the rest of the week. The 24-hour closure, so the uh, County Public Works Department can uh, do a road overlay, traffic being detoured, to Austin Road during the closure. And the El Centro Chamber of Commerce will host two virtual candidate forums. The first on Tuesday, September 29th, featuring candidates uh, Ryan Childers and John Brooks J.B. Hamby seeking the IID Division II seat. The second forum, Wednesday, September 30th, will feature candidates for the El Centro City Council. The candidate forums are available on Zoom and on the El Centro Chamber's Facebook page. That's it for page one of the local news. Page one, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. In Brawley at uh, the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive. In El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. When you live in a place that has everything, you need the truck that can handle anything. The Ford F-150. Want to haul a camper for the weekend? The Ford F-150's available blind spot information system with trailer coverage can help you see where most can. Want to get out on the water? The Ford F-150 has available pro trailer backup assist to get your boat down the ramp on the first try. And if you want Wi-Fi wherever you're headed, the F-150 has available Ford Pass Connect so you can work and play from anywhere. And for a limited time, you can get a 2020 Ford F-150 XLT with $7,000 total cash off. Offer valid on 2020 F-150 XLT. Total cash includes $6,250 retail customer cash and $750 VIN-specific inventory retail cash. Vehicles eligible for VIN-specific cash must have arrived at dealership at least 61 days prior to sale. Supply is limited. Residency restrictions apply. Offer ends 9-30-2020. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Explore the Ford F-150 at buyfordnow.com and visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer to drive one. Page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. Well, a new spending plan has been approved by the County Board of Supervisors. George Gale has more. The County Board of Supervisors approved the new budget Tuesday. A new 2020-2021 budget is $35.7 million higher than the previous budget at $540.7 million. General fund comes in at $226.8 million, $14 million higher than the last fiscal year. A more than $16 million general fund deficit was made up through transfers and a more than $6.1 million carryover. County has 2,402 funded positions, 22 more than they had last fiscal year. A balanced fiscal document was sent to Sacramento in accordance with the state law. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A neighborhood house has received some money for... Uh a homeless program. The donation from Molina Healthcare is $75,000. The funds will be used to start the Neighborhood House Street Outreach Services Homeless Outreach Project. The uh, Neighborhood House in Calexico has been selected by Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia as his nonprofit organization of the year. 
the uh, donation is uh, part of the Molina Cares Accord program. Uh, the uh, parking lot at Magnolia Elementary School in Brawley has been paved. It's a joint dust mitigation project with the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District and Magnolia Union Elementary School District. The 32,000 square foot uh, parent staff unpaved parking lot at the school has been paved. It was categorized as an air emissions reduction project through the Air District's Rule 310 program. Constant use of the parking lot created fugitive dust emissions that directly affected the health of students and faculty in the classrooms and playgrounds. According to APCD, the project greatly reduces the fugitive dust. KXO News Time, 748. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family. Family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. The National Weather Service says dry conditions can be expected across the forecast through at least the middle part of next week. High temperatures will fluctuate during that time, but remain at least several degrees above normal. The hottest days are expected during the first half of next week with readings at or near records. 103, the high yesterday, 70, our low. Sunny today with a high near 105, west wind about 5 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 74, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunny on Friday with a high near 104, light winds. Saturday, sunny with a high near 101, east-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. Sunday will be sunny with a high near 104, East-southeast wind about 5 miles per hour. 75 degrees, downtown 39% relative humidity. Wind out of the west at 3 to 5 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. The Coalition of Labor, Agriculture, and Business of Imperial County, COLAB, is pleased to announce the 2020 Candidates Forums. The purpose of these forums is to educate the public on some of the issues and the candidates' positions on these issues in order to provide the public with the best possible information with which to make their vote. The Imperial Irrigation District Division 2 Forum will be held on Thursday, October 1st at 4 p.m. and Imperial Irrigation District Division 4 Forum will be on Thursday, October 8th at 4 p.m. Due to COVID-19, the forums will not be available to the public, but the public is encouraged to submit questions on the form available on the Colab webpage and email them to Colab at forum at collabimperial.com. The forums will be recorded and posted on the Colab website within three days of the forum. They will also be available as a KXO radio podcast. We encourage all citizens of Imperial Valley to vote either by mail-in ballot or at the polls on November 3rd, 2020. Podcast coverage of these events is underwritten by Colab of Imperial County and the Imperial Valley Veg Growers Association. Well, it's sports time. NBA action in the bubble. The Heat whipped the Celtics 112-109. Miami leads the East Final Series three games to one. NFL action. It's Thursday night football tonight on AM 1230. The Dolphins, the uh, Jaguars, and uh, they will tee it up. We've got game starting at 430 this afternoon right here on AM 1230 KXO. And, uh, well, we've got uh, Raiders football on FM 107.5. John Gruden says he met Cam Newton in 2011 as part of his quarterback camp. And, uh, well, very impressed with Newton. He calls uh, Cam Newton a power forward playing quarterback. The Raiders, uh, they're going to have to find a way to slow down the six foot five, 245-pound uh, Newton who uh, has been a dual threat, getting the Patriots off to a one-and-one one start. Yeah, it'll be uh, the uh, Raiders and 
The Patriots Sunday on FM 107.5. We've got a look at uh, baseball coming up. High school football returns to KXO. We will have classic high school football games every Friday night on AM 1230 and on the KXO YouTube channel. Our broadcast features some of the very best games from the KXO archives. Classic high school football. Let's play some football! Is brought to you by Ubaldo Bermudas, your local law state agent. You're in good hands. Baja Farms in Holtville, supporting our communities. The UPS Store on North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. We've got the Imperial Tigers, Central Spartans, from October 30th, 2011, coming up tomorrow night, 7 o'clock on AM 1230, and on the KXO YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're on YouTube right now. You can subscribe to the KXO YouTube channel. It's free. In other news, it was confetti instead of champagne. Silly string instead of beer. The uh, Tampa Bay Rays, well... They wrapped up the, their first American League East crown since 2010. Yankees? I'm sorry, ESPN. Yeah, the Yankees, uh, they didn't win the, the division title. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, according to ESPN, it's the Yankees and the Mets and the Red Sox, the only teams in Major League Baseball. Meanwhile, the Angels beat the Padres yesterday 5-2. Phillies pounded the Nationals 12-3. Diamondbacks dumped the Rangers 7-3. Indians nipped the White Sox 3-2. Blue Jays beat up on the Yankees 14-1. The Yankees made four errors on the way. Two of them by uh, Gary Sanchez. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. The Reds over the Brewers, 6-1. to one. Mariners edged the Astros, 3-2. to two. Pirates, uh, well, they slipped by the Cubbies, 2-1. to one. Braves beat the Marlins, 9-4. Rays topped the Mets, 8-5. to five. Red Sox roared over the Orioles, 9-1. Twins topped the Tigers, 7-6. to six. The Royals beat up on the Cardinals, 12-3. A's dumped the Dodgers, 6-4. to four. And the Giants... They uh, beat the uh, Rockies 7-2. They are in the lead in the National League wild card race. And that's it for Sports Time. Don't forget Thursday Night Football tonight on AM 1230 KXO. What's that? You want crispy McDonald's chicken McNuggets? And what's that? You want them spicy? Breaded in tempura made with cayenne and served up with new mighty hot sauce? Well, you got it. Introducing new spicy chicken McNuggets. Now, what are you going to do about it? Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? You have made a wise decision. For a limited time at participating McDonald's. Financial news and weather brought to you this morning by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. U.S. stock indexes uh, flipping and flopping and looking for direction early today. The Dow Jones Industrial right now off about 28 points at 26,735. The S&P 500 up 1.9 at 3,238. The NASDAQ at 10,667, that's up 35 points. Gold is off $6.50 an ounce. Oil is up 11 cents a barrel, which means you'll pay 50 cents more at the pump. Uh, stocks were wobbly early today as investors waded through a morass of issues, including gridlock on Capitol Hill, which has sapped prospects for another spending bill. Market participants have long feared that a lack of fresh stimulus could derail an economic rebound. Jobless claims rose, according to the Labor Department, reflecting that slightly more Americans applied for state unemployment benefits in the week ended September 19th than in the prior week. Yeah, but hey, the state of California... Uh, you can't file. They've shut down filing for two weeks because they're so backlogged. Uh, yes. Uh, anyway, remarks by Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell in congressional testimony this week 
as well as comments by other federal policymakers, have also signaled that the central bank is taking a wait-and-see approach when it comes to further monetary stimulus while signaling the need for Congress to act on a fiscal stimulus. The market remains in turmoil in early trading today. Rotorooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Rotorooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Rotorooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760 352 6789. That's 352 6789 or 344 2533 in the North End. Rotorooter, when drains don't work, we do. We'll have sunny skies today with a high near 105, west wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming calm. Clear tonight with a low around 74, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. It'll be sunny on Friday with a high near 104 and light wind. Right now, we're at 77 degrees, downtown 37% relative humidity, wind out of the west at about 3 miles per hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you this morning by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. You know, when drains don't work, they do. This is Mike Kelly, Supervisor of District 3. I'm with City of Imperial Mayor Daryl Pecto. The 2020 census is very important for us in Imperial Valley. An accurate count guides where public funding goes for many important things. Like hospitals, schools fire and police stations, better roads, and other community programs. Complete your 2020 census online by phone or by mail. Go to my2020census.gov or call 844-330-2020. Make Imperial Valley count. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News is brought to you by El Centro Regional Medical Center. We're ready and open to serve your family. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Peter King in Orlando. Mourners continue to pay tribute to Ruth Bader Ginsburg, whose body lies in repose for a second day at the Supreme Court. But the silence of that tribute to a liberal justice has been sharply interrupted by the visit of a conservative president. His correspondent Stephen Portnoy. As the president and Mrs. Trump emerged from the Supreme Court building onto the steps, the crowd gathered there, reacted. As the first couple silently paid their respects, both wearing masks, the crowd began to shout, vote him out. More boos followed as the president's senior aides approached the casket. On the morning after protests in Louisville and beyond, Breonna Taylor's family is beyond angry about what it calls lenient charges against an officer who shot and killed her in a raid on the wrong apartment. Attorney Benjamin Crump. We think it's just outrageous. It's offensive. We're still trying to figure out what evidence did Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron present to that grand jury. Did he present any evidence on behalf of Breonna Taylor. There has been an arrest in the shootings of two Louisville police officers last night. CBS's Jerika Duncan. Police say they have a suspect in custody. CBS News has learned that suspect is 26-year-old Lorenzo Johnson. The officers are expected to survive. Some sobering statistics involving young people being shot in one of the biggest cities in the Midwest. Here's CBS's Jim Crisula. With three months still left in the air, the two leading children's hospitals in St. Louis have both seen a record number of young people patients treated for gunshot wounds. St. Louis Children's Hospital has treated 105 patients ranging from infants to 20 years old. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital has treated 75 children and young adults ages 2 to 18 for gunshot wounds in 2020. California says it'll outlaw the sales of new gas-powered vehicles in 15 years. Here's WWJ's Jeff Gilbert. California's Air Resources Board will come up with rules to meet the deadline. The order likely to face legal challenges as the Trump administration is already trying to withdraw California's ability to set fuel economy rules. This would have a big impact on vehicle production as California accounts for 11% of all car and truck purchases. The Labor Department says 800 
70,000 people filed first-time unemployment claims last week, up 4,000 for the week before, economist Joel Narrow. Job losses have been in a fairly tight range for about a month now, and that is something to be concerned about because the level is so high. It points to over 3 million workers losing their jobs over the course of a month. Checking Wall Street, the Dow is down 5. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One's banking app lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A. To celebrate State Farm's surprisingly great rates, we gave this song surprisingly great lyrics. State Farm, prices made just for you. That's what I said now. Prices, prices that surprise you. Just go ahead now, keep that. Money in your pockets, and I saw them right now. Save up, maybe one day buy a rocket. Just get a cool now. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cleanings, checkups, and cavities. Have Dr. Chang's dental practice at capacity. Patient in room one is getting a root canal. The x rays in room two are going to have to wait. We're down to one hygienist. It's time to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed, you do. The moment you sponsor a job on Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from our resume database. Indeed delivers two and a half times more hires than the other branded job sites combined, according to Breezy HR 2019. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get a $75 credit for your first job post. Terms and conditions apply. The pandemic is blamed for reduced college enrollment for undergrads by about two and a half percent. The National Student Clearinghouse Research Center says its survey also shows grad school enrollment up by nearly 4%. Bottom line, overall enrollment is still down nearly 2% from a year ago. A rare portrait by Italian Renaissance painter Botticelli could soon join the 100 million art club. The rare portrait is of an unknown young man dressed in a simple tunic. But Christopher Apostle, director of Old Masters Paintings at Sotheby's Auction House in New York, says there's a lot of excitement about it. He believes it could go for as much as $100 million. The estimate really reflects the quality, the condition, the enormous rarity, and the huge impact that a painting like this has visually. Apostle says he's not worried the coronavirus pandemic might scare buyers away. Elaine Cobb, CBS News. And I'm Peter King, CBS News. Balance of nature is fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Changing the world one life at a time. I've had some joint pain, but... I don't have it anymore because when I started taking Balance of Nature over a year ago, within, I would say, two or three months, I was pain-free. It was amazing. I feel tons better, and I love it. Balance of Nature is now offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code FRUITS. Ready to create your own income with your own home-based business where there's no such thing as getting laid off? If a billionaire entrepreneur spent five years and $20 million searching for the next big trend, wouldn't you want to know what he found? If you're serious about making money from home without having to leave home, then write this down. www.goherenext.com. You decide your income. Get the facts now. Goherenext.com. At El Central Regional Medical Center, we're ready and open to care for you and your family. We want to assure you that ECRMC is doing everything possible to keep you safe and healthy. As part of these efforts, we now offer the convenience of telemedicine. Skip the waiting room and visit your doctor on your phone, tablet, or computer instead. Don't delay the care you need. Make an appointment today by calling us at 760-482-5000. ECRMC, open to care. CBS News brought to you by El Central Regional Medical Center, ECRMC, open to care. You've got Carol Buckley with the best oldies on the radio. I don't like it. I love it. I love it.